first we check the trucks in, then we go to the gym. Going to the gym is important just to stay in shape and be prepared for any kind of calls that we might end up going on. Then we eat breakfast, and right now we're testing hydrants. Sometimes we'll do building inspections or PR events, and then it's lunchtime. And then we'll enter things like more reports and stuff like that, and then training. Training is really important. We'll do that sometimes in the morning, sometimes in the afternoon, or even in the evening after supper, because it's definitely a priority. And then supper time. And after that, I mean, we're definitely like a family here at the fire department, so we'll sit around the table and talk about calls we went on or just hang out. Definitely the people, uh, both my coworkers and the people that we help. Just knowing that when someone calls 911 and they need help, we're the ones who get the opportunity to do that for them, and it's very rewarding. I think a good example would be the fire that, I think it was like March 31st, that it was a really big fire, and being a small department, we have more buildings than trucks, and here at El Dorado, one firefighter has to do the job of basically three or four big city firefighters. It's just, you know, when you roll up to an emergency and you've got like one or two people staffing one truck, there's, there's so much in an emergency that you have to think about and that you have to do. And that's like, I would say the biggest challenge here in the fire department. Our fire department has an in-house maintenance program and that's kind of specific to us. Not a lot of departments do all of their own maintenance. And then we have the smoke detector program. We help citizens um, installing smoke detectors if they need that. And then any PR events, like, I mean, so, so many, the 9-11 ceremony, um, like spring water schools, anything where they would need sort of a, someone to represent the city. I think definitely the recall is, is huge. It's, it's a sacrifice to our personal lives for the community. Just any time we have an emergency, we have to call people who are off to come in and help us out. And just, you know, we may be eating dinner with our families a lot of times in the middle of the night, or we have part-time jobs, and we just have to drop it and come in. And, you know, we, we care about the community.